Hi, I am Kajer on Two Wheels, and today, after numerous requests, is the day for my helmet setup. So, without further ado, there's the bikes, there's the RF1100, the GoPro, and the whole helmet. So, here's the deal. This is my Shoei RF1100, sorry it's a bit dirty, so let's go with the Mohawk first. First thing I did with Mohawk was, see, it's removal. I took the original adhesive, which you can see he under here. Kind of shot to hell at this point, but what the hell. Then I stuck some self-adhesive uh, Velcro type on it and stuck the other part here. And so now it is easily and quickly removable. And since this is Velcro, this is very uh, resistant to wind shear. I can actually go head sideways at 200 kph and it'll do something like this but it won't come out okay doesn't come out period yeah so this works pretty well just so i can remove it and leave it on the bike when i go to some customers which think this is too odd so this is the senna 5s great piece of kit though highly recommended and this is the gopro setup which is what you have come here to see so here is the setup how did I stick it up here? Stick it in here. Stay ah, damn it. This isn't coming out right. Or is it? No. Um, I just used the stock, the normal uh, GoPro adhesive pad, which is this part here I'm touching. This is the adhesive. It's coming out now because it's been here for two years with heat cycles being hot and then cold and wet. Used every day, so it's normal that it ages. Now it's a bit dying. I'll have to replace it fairly soon. This red thing you're seeing here is called Sugru. There's a link in the bottom or on the description for this. Okay. This is some kind of play-doh that when it dries out after half an hour of you putting it here, becomes a glue and silicone. So it's pretty hard. Yeah. This is also coming off. So <laughs> I'll need to remove all of this, clean it up and do it again. So why is this here? Because as you can see, the GoPro is not is only catching this part before this bend. So it's only half of the adhesive is there. The other half wasn't. So it's turning it into a lever and was breaking the adhesive. So putting Sugu in here stopped that le leverage effect. And so this got stuck here for two years with no maintenance whatsoever, which is great. Then I use a J mount, the front helmet mount, J shaped from GoPro. And then the other part of that J mount, I can use one or two. I usually use only one. If the GoPro is like this, I can use even use none and it will be stuck like this. But if this gives me a bit more flexibility to emit slightly up if I need it, like so, I can undo it here. Righty tighty, let me use, yeah. Okay, like so. Sam, I'm testing driving a really, really strong sports bike, I'll have to tilt it slightly up. Or I am riding a cruiser, I have to tilt it slightly down so I can fine tune it like that. And if I stick this right here, I can't tilt it back up anymore, but that's does save some weight. Okay, then the GoPro. I have the case, the GoPro case, okay? I have a yellow thingy and the cable sticking out. So how did I do this? I drilled the hole in the sides. Yeah. This is the GoPro um, uh, adapter, okay? I had to actually file a bit away out of this one, but this one's dead now, so I don't really use it. Um, and then I put some more Sugru around it, so it would become waterproof. Check this out. And I stick it in here. Man, that came out wrong. All right, can't. Okay. So how did I do this? I molded this Sugru, and then I put this in and out, in and out quickly, just to file, file it away. So it's really snug fit, so no water comes in, whatever the rain I find myself in. So this is watertight, not waterproof. Uh, actually, this is waterproof, but not watertight. If I go underwater, it will end in tears. Otherwise, for rain works perfectly fine. It's very dirty. Rain again, yeah, and no maintenance whatsoever. But yeah, that works. Next time, I'll, I'll use black Subaru for this instead of the yellow one. Okay? Then, after that, after the GoPro adapter make, we have the microphone, which is just this, which turns around here, goes all the way through the side of the helmet, comes up into the helmet over here at the back, goes under the cheek pads, 
Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Under the cheek pads, all the way to the front, comes out of the cheek pads here. And here is. This is why I have such good sound. See these two? I hope you're filming. This is the Senna microphone. This is the GoPro microphone, which is just a simple Lapo microphone I got from eBay for really cheap. Link is also in the description, because they can do that for the length of uh, wire you ask. I asked for 20 centimeters, which is too much. I'm going to replace this one with a 15 centimeter one, which should be much better. So here's the microphone, here's the other one. Since it's protected from the wind and right in front of my mouth, zero wind noise, which is awesome. Perfect position, okay? So the rest of the wires here are what? It's the Senna. The Senna has two speakers, one here on this little recess the helmet has, the other one here, and the microphone. So the wires come here, one goes to the speaker, the other one goes to the other speaker, and the third one goes to the microphone, and that's it. Really simple. And so there are no cables anywhere inside the helmet. I don't feel this one. I don't feel this cable either. In fact, I'm never really sure where the cable is coming out. You don't really feel these. It's awesome. Simple. Okay, adds a bit of weight to the helmet. That is true. But it works pretty well. I removed the faceplate so you guys could look inside the helmet easily and not have having to deal with reflections. And so I, I wouldn't have to deal with reflection uh, post-production because of my face. Uh, this is a really good helmet. There's only one thing I don't like about this helmet, which is this little thing here. This is here for aerodynamic purposes, but if you wear a suit which has a hump on the back, on the top of the... Uh, on the top of your back, this usually catches on that hump and you can't turn your head, so this isn't really good for track days. At least some people have reported that, I don't have a, a jacket with a hump, so I don't really know about that. So, yeah, as you can see, two years going. Oh, and this is the Senna. Really love this piece of kit after, what, one, two years out in the rain and everything. Everything works perfectly, and oh, now finally it's beginning to show some signs of what age. This, listen. That's the only thing after being out in the sun and rain for two straight years. Being used heavily every day. Okay, great piece of kit, just doesn't quit this. Okay, yeah, that's it. My helmet and microphone setup, it is that simple. Catch your out.